Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of Godzilla vs. Kong. Sorry I'm late with this. I have a lot of personal issues that I was dealing with, but let's get on. Okay, this review will not have spoilers, and then I'm going to do a review with spoilers. Okay, I was looking forward to this. Uh, this takes place five years after the events of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and stuff. And uh, uh, let me just first say, eh, again, they don't know how to write for human characters without making them, for some reason, they don't know how to write for human characters without making them annoying. Because the human characters in this movie are so, so, with a few exceptions, are just really annoying. I mean, just beyond anno annoying. Okay, uh, the, uh, as far as the action goes so, in terms of the monster fights and stuff, those are fantastic. You can see everything. They, they shoot it in a way that you can actually see what's going on. It's not at night. I think one, one, one of the fights is at night anyway, anyway, but the main fight I think is at night. But you can see everything, and it's not hidden shadows, not quick cuts like that. I think the first Godzilla movie, which really pissed me off, because any time anything started happening, they would cut to a different scene. But this movie, uh, the fight scenes are really good, and the specific human characters are really super annoying. Alexander Skarsgård, and as he plays Nathan Lynn, he's a scientist, um, kind of a discredited scientist. The, uh, that uh, he gets called back into service by uh, Walter Simmons, played by Damien Bocchera. He works for Apex, and he wants to, he wants uh, uh, Alexander Skarsgård's character to find this power source that's power source they have in Middle Earth. Okay, and after an attack by Godzilla, he figures, you know, he wants he use you know he says they have ships that can actually you know go down there to Middle Earth and do it. But in the meanwhile. Uh, I guess this is, well, because it's in the trailer, so I guess this is not a spoiler. Uh, Kong is being monitored uh, by Mark, uh, you know, in this dome-like thing, and of course Kong is not happy with that <laughs> and stuff. And like you see in the trailer, he kind of throws a tree at it, at the, at the dome, but they have him monitored that way. And the whole big thing is that they think Kong will be, be able to, you know, go down there. If they take Kong from the island and, and take him down in the middle earth, he'll be able to find the power source. So that's the big mission, of course, to find the power source. And they also have to find out why Godzilla is attacking. He attacked the facility, uh, from, you know, from Apex. And they have to find out. Like I said, the human characters are, oh my God, they're so annoying. Brian Terry Henry, he plays Bernie Hayes, a kind of a, he works for Apex, but he's also like a conspiracy thing. He does a blog and just, oh my God, his character is so annoying. Oh my God, it's, you just want to choke him. You want to choke him, you really do. Really, Bobby Brown, he plays Madison Russell. Of course, he was in the previous film. Okay, and she's in this as well. You know, she's the, the Godzilla on the Godzilla team, and she wants to find out why Godzilla's attacking and stuff. And her friend, oh, my God, she's not annoying in this. Uh, but her friend, she has a friend, uh, oh, my God. That's just, oh, my God, he is so annoying. Uh, a nerd guy with glasses, and he's oh, he is super annoying. Between him and Brian, uh, Terry Henry, oh my God, those two characters are so annoying. I want really wanted those characters to die. That's how annoying they are. I'm um, just they just really uh, bring the movie down whenever they switch to that plot. Okay, uh, Rebecca Hall fares better. You know she she is a, a, the scientist that's monitoring Kong, and she, there's a little girl that communicates with Kong named Gia with the sign language and 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 Alexander Skarsgar, you know, convinces her to let's let's take Kong off the island and, and take him down there. You know, take him down to middle you know, to Middle Earth to find this power source. And that plot is not as annoying as, as the other one. That 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 plot uh makes the uh the annoying <laughs> uh with the annoying nerd kid and Brian Three Henry uh, the blog character Oh, my God, they make Alexander Skarsgård and Rebecca Hall's part look like Oscar-winning material. It's just, that's how annoying it is. The, the characters just, just, I'm sorry, they're just beyond super annoying, and I really wanted them to die. I really wanted them to die a painful death. But anyway, uh, uh, so basically the, the whole plot of it, this movie is them trying to find the power source and find, find out why Godzilla and, and Kong are, you know, why Godzilla is attacking these these facilities, and so what you know what the reason is. And so that you know they're trying to find yeah, Madison, Billy Bobby Brown, this character is trying to find out why this is happening, and she teams up with this blog guy and her nerd friend, 
<coughs> excuse me, they're trying to find out what's going on at Apex, what's secretly going on. And, uh, and but like I said, the fights are the best part of this movie. The, the, I mean, the fights are really, really good, really intense, and really uh, they do a really good job with it. You know, you can see everything. You can see the nice destruction and really good battle scenes and action scenes. It's just that the human characters are just, I mean, I don't know why they decide to make them super annoying. Maybe that, you know, to, to but that's, that, I, yeah, I just, yeah, I'm sorry. The characters is way annoying. And, and Cal Chandler, who plays uh, uh, Billy Bobby Brown's father, he really doesn't have nothing to do but walk around, ner you know, nervous and, and, with a fervent brow and worry about his daughter and worry about why Godzilla was attacking. And, you know, that could have been played by anybody. So I just, his character really has nothing to do. I guess they just for continuing sake from the other movie. That's why they brought him back. But as far as, like I said, the uh, human characters, specifically Brian Terry Henry, who plays Bernie Hayes, and I think the guy is uh, uh, Julian Dennison, who plays Josh Valentine. I think that's the guy who plays her nerd friend. Oh, my God. Please kill. I, I want those characters to die. They are so annoying. Like I said, Alexander Skarsgård and Rebecca Hall, I think they do a good job with their part. You know, they're, they're the more the scientific part and they're more with, on the Kong team. Okay, and like I said, the fights are great to me. Super. And I'm going to talk about that more in uh, my spoiler review. But I'm going to give, uh, like I said, if it wasn't for these super annoying human characters, oh, that just, just, just beyond annoying, I would probably give this movie a higher rating. But as it is, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a seven, just because, and the seven just because of the fights, which were great, and the action scenes are just great. It's just that the human characters are so annoying. Uh, just, uh, uh, just those, specifically those two characters I talked about, they are so annoying. And like I said, uh, Damien Bashir, who's like the head of Apex, like I said, when you see it, you'll understand what his character is all about, really. And then you have another character that's kind of a, a waste. Uh, uh, Isaac Gonzalez, who plays Maya, uh, Mayla Simmons, he's the daughter of Damien Bashir, who she, she gets sent with Alexander Skarsgård's team. She's like his daughter, so she gets she goes with them to, just to make sure that they complete the mission and all that stuff. And her, her character is kind of a a waste to me, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, again, I, I'll give it a seven just because uh, I think Godzilla King of the Monsters is a way better movie, and the characters are just not as annoying as in this movie. But the fights in this movie are uh, fantastic, excellent, uh, and the feet. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to do a spoiler review where I actually talk about specific things. Uh, um, so um, let me know what you think of this uh, movie, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I said, I'm sorry I'm late with this. Uh, I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. I also have a link to my Patreon channel. Please check that out as well. I gotta, I'm sorry. I was, i got to update that, my Patreon. i got to kind of update it because I haven't really touched it in a while due to unforeseen circumstances in my personal life. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think of Godzilla vs. Kong. And like I said, I'm going to do a spoiler review. This review doesn't have too many spoilers in it, but uh, I just wanted to give you the main plot and what I thought of some of the annoying characters. And anyway, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long. Take care.